Wow, what's good, family? It's me, Go 67 Sports TV. Shout out to the awesome and amazing LDBC, Lightest and Broadcasting Community. Shout out to Louisiana All American Sports Network. Last but definitely not least, shout out to the greatest university in the world, the Southern University, home of the Mighty Jaguars. Uh, it's getting pretty close to kickoff, so I just might as well give y'all my pregame analysis. Uh, between the Southern University Jaguars and Texas Southern. Before I get to that point, a couple of things I want to uh, bring to everyone's attention. Uh, first and foremost, uh, I was unaware. I saw this this little clip on Facebook that the state of Louisiana, old Southern University, a billion dollars. In addition to that, not the Southern University, but Several states, uh, if you add up all the money, all the money in in total, uh, it owes HBCUs a total of twelve billion dollars. You know, we always talk about reparations in my little group. However, just looking at that, you know, it's crazy how these states owe these different HBCU funding, uh, and how they're so severely underfunded. Now, do you think the state of Louisiana owes LSU money? No. And if they owe LSU money and they owe Southern money, you think they're going to pay LSU and not pay Southern? Yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. So, it's sad, you know, how things are transpiring when it comes to the HBCUs. Uh, at the end of the day, we know the state of Louisiana is not going to pay Southern University, a billion dollars all at once. So I'm just hopeful that the state pays uh, Southern University some of the money that they owe them. Uh, second, uh, this Facebook group that I'm in, of course, it's a Southern University Facebook group. But in this Facebook group, uh, I guess I was unaware of it. When Southern fans went to Jackson for the Boombox Classic, Evidently, Jackson State fans wasn't so friendly, wasn't so hospitable. I mean, I'm unaware of this. I'm just finding this out. It's crazy to me because every time I go to a HBCU game, a swag game in particular, you know, whether it was, you know, games at Alcorn State, uh, games, you know, wherever, for the most part, all the swag games I've been to, have been family-friendly environments, you know, peaceful environments. I haven't experienced any mistreatment. And, of course, Southern University fans were saying that whenever Jackson State fans come to A.W. Marple Stadium, people just feel they are going to return the favor. I think that's the wrong approach, me personally. Uh, my big thing as a person is I just want to treat people the way I want to be treated. Now, if you disrespect for me, then that's problematic. But at the end of the day, I think you should just treat people the way you want to be treated. Uh, I'm sorry that that's an issue and the thing. I don't understand why Jackson, Flay Jackson State, J-State fans, will be disrespectful to Southern fans when they come to Jackson. I mean, I don't know. To me, it's a rivalry thing. That's about it. I don't lie. Anytime... Uh, like all corn state fans come to Southern, you know, it might be a little trash talking going on, but that's about it. For the most part, it's friendly. Even last week with Nickel State fans, come to find out the guy that was sitting behind me, like I went to middle school with his cousin. And, you know, we got to talking about that. So at the end of the day, I don't understand why fans mistreat each other at these sporting events. To me, it's silly and stupid. And at the end of the day, like I said, you know, I'm from South Louisiana. So I'm a huge proponent of treating people the way I want to be treated. Uh, but getting to the game itself, you know, this morning, uh, I went. Uh, I went to the studio uh, with Mission Control and Dale Mitchell. Of course, you know, I'm continuing uh, my partnership with the Louisiana All-American Sports Network. Uh, I'll probably drop that clip whenever he drops it. So it could be the day day after tomorrow. Uh, more than likely, it's probably going to be tomorrow, day after tomorrow, something like that. It probably won't be today. But even with that being said, you know, we talked about a variety of different topics. 
And we talked about the Southern University Jaguars. Uh, basically, he asked me what's my prediction. And of course, I'm not even going to lie, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm still highly perturbed, highly agitated, highly upset with their performance last week against Nickel State. However, you know, every time Southern and most whack teams step outside of SWAC and HBCU play, and they play against the PWI for whatever reason, they struggle. I don't understand it. I don't understand it for the life of me. But even with that being said, uh, he asked me who I think is going to win today's game. And truthfully speaking, just the way Southern is going, I think in all honesty, I think Southern is going to struggle with Texas Southern. But I think they win today's game against Texas Southern. And I think next week for homecoming, uh, I think they're going to struggle against Alcorn State. But I think they're going to beat Alcorn State also. And that's just the way I see it playing out. But one thing uh, I need to make crystal clear, uh, no one shouldn't take any snaps today. Uh, if I was Terrence Graves, which I'm not, if I was Ter Terrence Graves, if Zay Zavian T-Set is ready to play, I'll start him. However, if he's still injured, what I would do is I would start Jalen Woods and I would have Angelo Izzard Jr. be my backup. And then uh, I basically would make Noah my third-string quarterback. He wouldn't get another snap the rest of the season. He had his opportunity to prove that he's a guy. In my opinion, he proved that he isn't. And I think I would just pivot and move in a different direction. That's just my outlook. That's just my take on things. Uh, and that's the way I, that's just the way I see, you know, point blank, bottom line, period. Uh, the last thing I'm going to bring up is uh, I'm up to 357, for, I'm up to 357 subscribers. So my goal is to jump to 1,000 and do it quickly. So next week at AW Marvel Stadium, for, during homecoming, I'm going to raffle off two tickets. Two tickets to the Bayou Classic. Uh, now, I'm going to actually hold this raffle, so it's not going to be something, uh, you know, just a ploy for me to get my subscribers up. Uh, but this is what I'm going to do. We're going to raffle off the tickets at AW Mumford Stadium. Uh, hopefully, you know, the main, objective, the main objective is to either, one, get my channel to at least 500 subs so I can get uh, baby monetized or to get up to a thousand subscribers so I could be monetized. So that's one thing I want, you know, to get as many subscribers as possible. Hopefully I'm looking for a thousand. Uh, then I'm going to raffle off the tickets. You have to be, uh, to get the tickets, first and foremost, you have to be subscribed to the channel and you have to leave a comment in the comment section to my, to my most recent video. So that's the next thing. Uh, and I want to give a major shout out uh, to Chuck Fontenot, uh, major shout out to Desmond Allen, uh, major shout out to Rodney North II, major shout out to everybody that supports me, uh, that's supporting my grind, supporting my channel. Also, I want to give a major shout out to everybody that sits in my section on the east side, A.W. Mumford Stadium. That watching my videos, I appreciate y'all uh, for y'all love and support. And of course, you know, shout out to the greatest university in the world, the Southern University. Of course, this is not your, tr your traditional blue and gold Southern University T-shirt. Uh, something I saw, I just ended up buying it. You know, it's not your it's not your traditional Southern University colors. But even with that being said, still Southern University. Shout out to Southern University, the greatest university in the world. Uh, shout out to my brother, Jared Eleven Green, on his channel tomorrow, the Southern Baller Show. Uh, we're going to talk about some college football, uh, some HBCU football, some NFL football. And we're just going to talk about football in general at 3.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Also, go check out my brother, Brent Fox, with his show. It's just me starring Brent Fox. Brent Fox is a huge Pittsburgh Steelers fan. Uh, he also occasionally talks about boxing in his 20 by 20 series. Also, go check out my brother, 
Cadillac Red Supreme Beast Boxing Talk. He has two channels. He has Supreme Beast Boxing Talk, uh, and he also has Supreme Beast After Hours, where he, I, and Cadillac, I'm sorry, he, I, and 503 Lion. So Cadillac Red, 503 Lion, and myself, uh, we do the show called The Coach's Playbook, where we talk about issues and topics from a coach's perspective. So check out those channels, support my LDBC brethren. Uh, also go check out the Louisiana All American Sports Network. Like I said, they're gonna upload uh, the episode, the radio episode we did this morning. They probably gonna upload that tomorrow, day after tomorrow. So go check out all of those content creators that I'm rocking with, that I support, and that supports me. I'll catch y'all on the rebound. Y'all have a blessed, phenomenal evening. And go Jags. Peace and blessings.